Magnet and today I'm back for another video. Um, today's video is going to be a get ready to chill with me and plus it's a skincare routine because I have nothing to do today so I'm just staying home alone for a little while. So I'm basically going to show you um, basically a get ready to chill with me and basically I'm going to show you what I put on my skin. Um, I'm just gonna like tell you how my skin was back then because uh, I didn't usually have this skincare routine as always um, I think two years ago my skin was really bad. I had like a bunch of acne scars. It's much lesser now But it was way worse back then. It was like all over my cheeks and now you can see it's disappearing a bit um, I had like severe acne, it was really bad and um, this doctor prescribed me to do these things to look, like put these things on my face every day and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into the get ready with me. I'm basically just gonna start brushing my teeth and brush my teeth and then take a shower and then I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I put on my face. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm done brushing my teeth and right now I'm gonna go get in the shower. Now before I do, I'm gonna show you what I put on my face when I'm in the shower. So I use this, it's basically called Palmer's Complexion Soap. Hold on. Yeah, Complexion Bar, the Palmer's Complexion Bar. Um, it's an anti-dark spot, it basically gets rid of dark spots on your face. Um, I use this um, every day. I'm in the shower. I hope I always put it, run, put it on my face and let it sit there for a few seconds. Then I rinse it off. Um, it works well. It smooths. It basically smooths off my face, and some of the dark spots in my face kind of disappears. Um, I'd say it works well, and I think it's very beneficial. I recommend that you guys get it. Um, yeah, it's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Hit the shower. Okay, so now I'm back from the shower, freshly cleaned face and all. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I put on my face now. So, um, 
this is the stuff I put on my face that I'm supposed to put on in the morning, but when I'm at home, I put this on in the morning and I put the night cream on at, right after I put this. But it's perfectly fine because my face is still clear. So this stuff is called Clindamycin Phosphate Lotion. Um, basically, I shake it and I put this on my face. That's supposed to like pour so much. I only poured this amount because I put it on my face and neck. Okay, so now I'm done with the clean my swatch. Okay. Um, this other stuff I put on at night, I can't really show you it because the bottle is almost done with. But this is called Tetra Tone and Cream. I'm supposed to put this on at night, like every night, but I usually put it on after I put on the clindamycin because it still works either way. And the tetratonin is like much more, it makes your face dry. It doesn't necessarily make mine dry because they have like one at different levels. I used to be on, I think, 0.10, but um, my um, dermatologist um, decided to up it more because my face doesn't dry out from the 0.10. My face kind of dries out, dries out from this, but I usually, but it's not as much and my you don't see cracks on my skin. So I just um, basically just put this on my face and I put lotion on after just to prevent any um, dry skin because I sometimes feel my face is dry from this. So. Basically, the lotion I'm using right now is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Heal Softens Dry Skin Therapy. It smells really good and it, it's, it really smooths out your face. It really helps. I used to have like a different routine where I use um, this type of sea moss. It works because my acne did clear from the sea moss, but I stopped using it because I'm a procrastinator. But sea moss does help, so I recommend it. If you can find sea moss, then use that. Not like like the physical actual sea moss, it has to be mixed in with something. I don't know, my aunt makes sea moss, but it works. So. Yeah, basically, my face is done. Um. So I can take down my hair. I usually let my hair out because I don't like having my hair up all day. I like to let it breathe. I also spray some oil sheen on my hair because my hair dries out because my hair is dyed. I had to pause the dye for a bit because my hair was falling out, unfortunately. I want to dye it red again because I really miss red hair. But hopefully I get to dye it back again. I, I'm satisfied with the color though because it blends well. My hair's black on the top and now it's half here. Like there's also some shakes that are like fully still red because it's a growing process. So yeah. This is my this is my pajama outfit. It's mismatched. I have a matching pants with this, but I couldn't find them. So it's basically this shirt and purple pants. And it's basically my chill outfit. It's my pajamas. Thank you guys for watching my video. I know it's kind of a bit short. Um, it's only been a while since I've come back from doing this. I'm just like super busy, especially since it's senior year and I'm graduating within two months because April's almost over. Like this is probably the last day and tomorrow's gonna be May. And basically a lot of exciting stuff is coming up in May and June, especially since I'm graduating in June um so yeah enjoy it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a subscribe like click the subscribe button for more and leave a like button and comment if you'd like um so yeah i hope to see you guys next time bye